Alright, here we are on uh, Wind Chaser Farms. We just are hauling some, some cut grass here. To uh, a lot of dairy farms here. A little shout out to American Eagles. We're just gonna buzz on up here and unload on the fermenting silos. So we got our truck and our ATI quad combine. We're just gonna buzz over here. So they sold like a million liters. Oh, there's the geese. You can see the geese shadows. There they are right there. Flying overhead. So I think we'll just buzz down here and take a little shortcut. No maintenance road. Looks like someone just locked it. church. Coming up on a bigger dairy uh, farm here. Got a house. Little lake here. 
ahead here as we're well. working for it. Not a bad view to harvest. Multi million dollar view. So basically, I'm just here uh, testing my own map, testing out the bunker, the bunkers, and whatnot. Fermenting silos work, the scripts in works good. Grass, you can cut and mow. Just making sure like every all the land is nice and smooth for like driveways and stuff. So this little hay field uh, is producing probably like a hundred, a little over a hundred and twenty thousand, maybe like a hundred thousand liters of hay. So pretty good production from this little field. Uh, the prices of the fields are around four thousand an acre. Um, the flatter fields will be worth more, the hillier fields will be worth less per acre, obviously. Now I'm just having fun with uh, all of in-game, this is all standard equipment that I'm playing with now. And then uh, I think I'll purchase a cultivator so I can show you guys uh, some of the some of the cool terrain. Uh, I have the real terrain on the on this map. So I just uh keep collecting some of this and then I'll go pick up a uh, will unload this and go pick up a cultivator and uh, we'll cultivate in this uh, field and see what else maybe plant some soybean or something I want to add uh, pigs and beef. This is going to be a dairy and beef farm, I think. So you'll be able to grow beef and then there'll be horses as well. Alright. So, harvesting that.
So these bunkers obviously work. This is where you unload and sell uh, straw bales. So it just puts on over here. More uh, fermenting silos. I haven't finished putting in the fences yet, but this is where all the beef cattle will be growing. It's where uh, those are open feed triggers. Uh, this is where you get your slurry, you get the bill, just like buzz on over here with your slurry. Some fences uh, put in here right now. Beach, gaining walls. So that's the uh, this is the main farm again. Uh, it's a little bit laggy right now because of the recording software. I used to use MSI, which never lagged on me, but this. For whatever reason, it just records a, a black screen when I record now. I'm not, not really sure why. We have a little round baler up here that I have to come pick up. Uh, I come out here and take out a loan. So I'll just go ahead and because I want to see. I tried fixing. Um, I'll just buy some cows to see. I, I tried installing a new nav mesh. So, let's see how much. I need 98. What the? It's uh, 18,000 for that. There's 29. That's 6, 4.5. I'll just buy that one now, just for demonstration purposes. And then we'll bring this back, and 
could cultivate our grass field a little bit. So this is a pretty decent sized soybean field. There's our co-op. Uh, that's where the town's going to be. I haven't currently like built that yet. Way over there in the other corner is uh, must be uh, icy black ice, slippery black ice. Anyways, the theme of this map is supposed to be fall. I started building it during the fall. Uh, so all the leaves are turning colors. We have some uh, trees that are in blossom leaves. We have pine trees. Uh, so then up here. So that's a pretty cool little entryway. Um, pretty modest little farmhouse garage. This is you're going to be your main shop. I haven't, I haven't put anything in it yet. Uh, your fermenting silos. Uh, so right where the I parked the forage wagon, it's pretty flat. So you'll be able to uh, basically put anything there or edit to your little heart's desire. Uh, if you need extra storage or whatnot. So we'll just get that ready here. So but if you watch the terrain, I have it installed so you get the curves again. As you can see, nice little curves. So I really want to um, add the purchasable objects so you just can't like um, start farming on a, on a big farm and stuff, you'll need to buy it. You can't mobile and use uh, big grain elevators, you'll need to buy that. See that the trains uh, it's that real train. So that's a cool little feature. Uh, and then I added the the uh, for uh, the, the liquid solid manure and look we got cows. Woo! Cows over here. So 
so I haven't I haven't adjusted my senses yet. Um, the big slurry tank. Uh, it's on the mirror here is where you can like place all your bales, straw, or whatever you want. It could be a, where you store your cultivators. Whatever you want. I hear ducks. There goes the ducks. Ducks flying. And then um, over here is like another staging for manure um, and this has a shovel trigger so you'll be able to load that um, with your shovel I'm not a huge fan of using conveyors like you see on some maps that have a conveyor I know like some like at the, at the end of the barn I could put a conveyor because like some of the older barns have those kind of like belts that go around and they kind of just like and they always park their manure wagons underneath it and then turn on the, the conveyor and the, the conveyor will load it up so I might do that but like, that's acceptable that's realistic oh whoops wrong button so we don't have any cows right now but nice to know that I don't know what that guy is doing, that. I don't know what those two are But this is all supposed to be fenced in over here. I think I need to uh, adjust my nav meshes. All fermenting silos, and then we need to fix that. We need to fix the door. We have all of our cows in here. We put in some plumbing. We got sinks. We got a grain. We drop off grain. Combine. Maybe we should do some uh, harvesting. Test out the new uh, course plate. That way I can operate the uh, grain cart. So we'll just buzz. We'll harvest some um, canola. We got a lot of soybeans growing, a lot of corn. Uh, so I kind of like souped this thing up so it wasn't so slow. Let's go harvest by the uh, the uh, flower mill. But I could show you guys the 
some harvestable trees for you forestry. I think we're gonna buzz on over here and harvest one of these fields. So this is one of the flatter regions of the map. You have a place where you can load up some lime and fertilizer and sell stuff over there. Here, you, uh, you just you just sell grain or grain. But we got some flat fields. I deleted all the old trees because I want to put in all my own. Uh, so I think we'll buzz on over here. Clearly, need to fix those uh, train cars, but that train seems to be just fine. Little texture issues. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, unhook here and let auto combine. take over. So you can see there's uh, some nice flex in the header here. Uh, let's uh, what do I have? I have my, I don't want straw. We'll just come over here and start harvesting a little bit. Get a nice chopped straw. Turn on auto combine. Let that guy do his thing. And that guy, I'll save some fuel. Oh, I forgot I sold my grain cart. Oops! Guys, this is. Favorite chat. I love this thing. But I'll just use this truck instead. Kind of needs to be washed, don't you think? Buzz on over there and pick up some grain from the combine. Who needs an overloader when you have a sun, right? Okay. So, if you're into logging, this is a pretty good truck for logging. 
uh, have a lot of uh, trees to cut on this map. A lot of trees. So you can make a killing. You're just log. I mean, I haven't really, I'm not really into logging. Uh, but this is one of the close, pretty close. There's another area that's going to be in the northwest. It's really big in the log. There's an area uh, over there that has trees that you can log. There's going to be some in the southeast. There's going to be um, some of the northeast. So there's going to be a lot of logs for those of you that want to log. We've got our wind turbines producing some nice green energy. There is no uh, grain complex yet on this farm, just because I haven't built one. I don't really want one on this farm since the other one had the uh, other farms have it. I think I'll probably like build a complex in the middle of somewhere, like in one of the, like in one of the fields over here. So you'll have to you know, kind of like off the farm, so it's not on the farm. It's like they built it, they bought it and built it as the farm group, kind of like has a little story to it. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, it's really like, I, I really like how it's turning out. It's a beautiful map. With the trees and the roads. It took me forever to build these roads, but now that they're built and put in speed limits and grass and putting in all the trees. It's, it's a really beautiful map. And it's pretty good with leg. Um, I really want to swap out these power lines. Put in um, more American uh, railroad crossing. Got a coal train that really isn't supposed to be there, but for whatever reason, those other green carts, those carts are so now I just gotta hunt down where this, uh, and I have the lanes. Alright, so there's our combine, and this is all gonna be trees. Anywhere we see the dark dirt is gonna be trees eventually when I get around to it. So this is another little farm shop where you can sell potatoes. We need to get a sugar beet facility going. So this guy is just doing it around, so it's all going to be trees here on the left. This guy doesn't know what he's Some Saturday going on here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and sell this grain instead of storing it. Because if you look here, I have quite a bit of canola. I have quite a bit of, for whatever reason, my soybeans aren't showing up. Just fine. Kind of low on money. So, I'm just gonna 
just going to go ahead and sell this grain as soon as you have load. It should be around probably like 15, 16,000 meters. I'm just going to unload it here over at Connie Foods. Kind of want to put in a Monsanto or a Mosaic seed. I want to put in a Budweiser plant, maybe. I mean, that's a little bit more out west, so maybe where I'm from, there's no Budweiser. Alright. So I'll we'll just uh, let that keep going. Mess it up. I don't want to run over my props. So, just buzz on over to Conagra. And then I think what we'll do is we'll try out our multi silo um, back over at the grain complex and try to sell some grain at some of the other facilities so you guys can see what those are like. I think we have a lot of canola that is so we'll just pop out here pretty bright out but I love those uh see, you can see the train I'm gonna fix those trains 55 we're at Here we are, back in Connie. Oh, look at that. A little train collision. That's interesting. Anyways, um, we're supposed to be able to get through there, but... Since the trains are in my way, so we'll just put the pedal to the metal around down here and go pick up some. So I need to add a, a train spline. I, okay, I built splines for cars and they just don't show up, so I'm clearly missing something how to build the, the spline, or how to get the cars to show up on this map. I have the splines going north-south on the main road. Uh, I haven't built any splines for this area. So we're going to take this 4 at 60. Woo! I suppose you're probably supposed to like slow down to like 45 or 35 for that, that truck. I'm going to handle it this time. So these are, you know, pretty small fields. Um, they'll be good for beef and and stuff. So there's the main farm again. One of the main farms. Really built for, uh, it's really built for silage and feeding. Because I put in the realistic values for cow and sheep and chicken, like how much they eat, how much they produce kind of thing. So they produce less and consume more just because the yield is not of like everything on this game is ridiculous. So you'll notice that your cows consume a lot more and produce less. Just to make you work a little bit more so it's not so easy to make money. Um, and I think I'm going to really reduce the price of logs and such, so you can become like a multi-millionaire just by harvesting logs. Do a, a small trailer full of logs for a hundred thousand or whatever it is, is ridiculous. So you can forget about that. Got some corn that needs to be harvested. Really want those forage wagons and uh, full-time harvesters to get converted over because that's initially what I bought and built that farm for. Because they like have like a John Deere 4440 or something pulling a full-time uh, chopper 
so you can harvest on those contour slopes. And then these are some big soybean fields. This is a, used to be a big wheat field, so we're always there harvesting over there. Uh, my combine driver is going to get full. So I think we're just going to get a load of canola and sell that over at Conindra. So here's the main wind chaser farm. So you got the shed there, uh, main farm with, uh, with horses. Put in a new door over here. So hopefully this works. Okay, clearly this isn't working. I'll put in a new strip. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, there we go. See, I don't, I don't understand this. Yeah, there must be a bug in the game. It works with multi-silo, but then you don't get the cool little particles. So what I'll do is I have a lot of that. So I'll just fill. See, I like those particles. But I mean, I think I'll just put in my old multi silo so you can load grain and uh, soybeans and stuff. So I want this to be purchasable. Pretty full load there. I really like how I use the tracks everywhere. I love it. So cool, so realistic. Alright, here we go. Time to make some money. And then hopefully by the time we uh, sell this stuff, we can go uh, unload that combine again. This uh, the CR1090 with duels. So we're just buzzing down the road here. This is what I was talking about. I built a spline, a beautiful spline. Look at this. But cars are not showing up. So we're going to have to figure out what's going on with the log. What I miss. Um, maybe it's because I took an existing spline that was a circle and I made it a line with the start and an end. So maybe there's some things I need to script in for the spline itself. So I'll look at some other splines that I have a start and an end. Let's see what I can do about that. Otherwise, I'll just like loop it around. That's a big field of canola that went from the harvest um, Nice truck. There's a little main phone again. Thank you. 
Actually, I'll show you guys uh, the country trade up here. So go on, blow it up at that facility right there. Combine is probably fall by this point. So we'll start to slow down. Built this road as well. A little curvy, a little hilly. It's not straight. It goes up and down, a couple turns. A little bit of character to it. Move all the way up there, so more rail remotes. Level convenience. So we'll just pause on right up here. So some of that canola. Money. So this is where you'll be able to buy your lime fertilizer. Let's go on load the crown bill. What else we got going on? Well, I'll show you guys. So you can see that I'm trying to like get rid of all the crops on this map. So you start with essentially nothing. Otherwise, you can just harvest everything, and you know, it's basically. With the size of these fields, the amount of crops that you get. Like, what's, you know, there's really no point. These are like more houses over here. Some more, uh, kind of a glassy field. Woods here on the right. Probably move that tree so I don't run into it. I uh, used to have the uh, big windmills have trees on the perimeter of the field. I'm going to try to do that to a lot of them. Little house here with the wood fence. Trees.
train tracks again, and train crossing. So we'll just buzz on down here. So these fields over here, you know, they're pretty flat, pretty big. This one's huge. So these will be pretty expensive. I mean, they have some obstacles. Um, so that will reduce the price a little bit for those that use course play or like open. You know, and all these objects are rigid, so if you hit them, we're not going to go through them. We're going to stop. So, finally built this road. We've been meaning to do it for a while. Just so it's not some dirt road that turned out pretty nice, nice and smooth. Uh, I'm working on. I'm gonna, I have all the objects here, but this is going to be where you sell all your logs. Wood chips, the logging facility. I think I'm going to put it over there on the right side instead. Uh, I, maybe I'll put like the biogas in So I just have a bunch of stuff piled over here. don't know if they will do with it yet. So here's a big lake. Up here is the garden center. It's supposed to be um, what I want it to be is like a home based landscape nursery. So you'll be able to buy like wine, whatever, whatever you want. Probably like manure and fertilizer and stuff. Seeds, you can buy seeds here, you can be able to buy trees here. Um, so they have a little pond. Kind of looks like it's still under construction, which is, I mean, I kind of like the look of it. But nice, smooth little entry. You got the parking lot. Right there. Some dirt. So that's the house. Got some stuff to buy there. Where you can buy seeds and fertilizer. So this is just a big lake. So, I mean, there used to be fields here, but they're all like really weird looking and dumb. And there wasn't a whole lot going on back here, so I just tried to spruce this up at the garden center going to be building lake homes over there. I have money. Just trying to put like trees in here. And dress it up a little bit. You know, having a big lake saves a lot of time for trying to build this. This is just another road. You see there, it's kind of like a landscape. Uh, Probably like the last road that I started working on, but I haven't finished. It's a, it's a dead end. It's, going to be, it's a dead end. I need to put some power power lines down here. Single power lines. This is the only house I have in here right now. It's slippery. Pretty nice house, nice view. You got your trees down here. You got a dog. Flag. Anyways, this road will go all the way down here. So there's gonna be you know, probably like three or four more houses here, whatever, five more houses along here. Just haven't got around to it yet. It's another good field. Combine, combine these two fields to make a big field. Um, and then this will be the turnaround. Obviously, I'm going to need some uh, 
like guardrails and like put up a, like a chaining wall or something, or this could be like a boat landing, totally boat landing. That'd be cool. So this is all uh, fertilized, ready to go, ready to be planted. Uh, this is ready to be harvested, but by the time when that's finished, that won't be the case. Um, we just have some more uh, trees here, kind of like a little thing. And the whole idea behind like these mounds is like where I'm from, it's very Native American. There's these Native American burial mounds in the middle of some fields. So you'll see like these big round like mounds in the middle of the fields with the trees. If you actually like go through and dig through them, you'll find like arrowheads and stuff like that. So that's the idea behind the mounds of the trees in the middle of the fields is the burial, Indian burial mounds. So here's a uh, facilities to buy uh, fertilizer, and you can store, you can purchase and store, and like keep a front end loader here, and just drive your trucks and, and load up some. Uh, Fertilizer. We've got the BP gas station over here. We got our tractor supply. So here at the tractor supply, you'll be able to uh, purchase. Uh, oops. You'll be able to purchase seeds. You'll be able to purchase uh, fertilizer over here. There's a gazebo for sale. This is uh, the coverall building. Basically, this is like a township uh, facilities for sand and spreading sand and salt on the roads. Um, I think you'll be able to sell sand here when I'm done. This is the co-op building. Um, that's the dealership. I want to put like a car dealership right here, like a Dodge or Ford dealership. Um, so this is just like the little co-op building where you just come around but back here slight green and then you're off. So we'll just buzz on down here. I'll show you where the sheep farm is. So this is all going to be town right here. This like put in some buildings and houses. And the biogas is going to move, like I said. It's not going to stay there. This is where the town's going to be. Oh, shoot. It's my turn. So these are going to be the most expensive fields over here because they're huge, they're flat, no obstacles in the middle. Uh, so but you can see the white farmhouse and whatever garage over there. So, I mean, it's a big map. I mean, there's a lot to, a lot to farm here. There's a lot to, a lot of agriculture going on. Um, so, you can obviously, like, have a huge, huge operation. Um, this is a really course play friendly map if you use course play like me. Um, you just use course play, map out the, the map, uh, and drive, make your routes. Um, and then basically you can have a combine harvesting, you can have your grain, your overloader, your, your grain cart driver um, running, and you can have a semi waiting, or you can, you know, do manual. You can, you know, have one combine going, you can play a combine, you can do multiplayer, you know, both of you guys combine, you know, whatever. It's it's very friendly for course play. It's very, it's going to be fun for multiplayer. Um, 
the thing is, if you're into forestry, it might be a little bit frustrating because it's it's a big map. It's a 4x map or whatever it is. And the, the selling, the, the where you sell your logs and transport logs is far from where you harvest. So, so you can see there's another facility there for selling. But this is a big, big field there. Here's another field. There's a dirt road back here. This is like a little old plantation style house in the middle of nowhere. It looks cool. It's very picturesque. There's the more woods over there for forestry. Uh, here is a house and a garage, garden, and if I come up here and I buy a sheep, there's my sheep. So this is a lot of grass around here for your sheep. Here, here are several little sheep around here. So this is a little sheep farm. Be able to load up pallets and bring them to the wool. There's the place where you sell wool, which I haven't put in the game yet. We're just putzing over here now. This is where you're doing a lot of logging. Another big map here. Dirt. lot of trees to harvest in there. There's just a big field here, two big fields. So I'll show you like I fixed the train. So that's cool. I think you guys will appreciate that. This is all going to be trees here. Trees, 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 and more trees. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how many trees and everything's set at a thousand clip distance. Um, basically, I put the clip distance to everything um, to zero in each transform group. So like everything here is clip distance at zero and then the whole the thing as a whole is clipped at a thousand. So uh, but that's where you'll be able to buy uh, more more lime. Yeah this is another big road that put in. Um, haven't really done much over here yet so this is all this all needs to be done. This needs to be spruced up a little bit. Um, but this is where this is the big sand pit, sand quarry. So I'll put trees around there. I don't know what else I'll put over here. But I like the fact that this this uh, this mod, uh, this lanes mod. Like, I can drive over here, and it won't destroy the grass. It will only destroy grass that's inside the field, which is really cool compared to, like, in Farm Sim 13, it would just destroy everything. doesn't matter if it was a field or not. So, like, if I were to drive on this grass right here, all that grass would have been destroyed. But in this game, it only destroys the fruits that are inside already plowed or, like, field... Uh, train. So that's a cool little feature. So I think I'll just like make some more fields over here with um, 
what I want to do is I want to put in that irrigating system and like make sure, like have because in this new animations thing you can have like on and off uh, triggers. So basically, I want to so you can like make it um, turn on and rotate, and then it will like go all the way one way, and then like you'll like close it. So it's like an open door trigger, but it, the whole like irrigating system will rotate, and then it will rotate back when you close it. Um, now I just have to figure out how to script in so it like fertilizes or something at the same time. That'd be really cool. Because I can make it rotate no problem. But to make it fertilize, that's something really different. So now we're here on the west west side of the map. Some grassy fields, some nice light, clouds. A little woods here. Another open field ready to be harvested or uh, planted. Plants of corn or soybeans or whatever you want. So I built this road as well. This is a nice smooth road. That's some corn. But I believe you need to, you need to cultivate those fields. Nice little house here with their garage, some wood, a little cabin there with a dock and everything on the lake. We got uh, another BP station over here. And then over there is another uh, facilities to sell some stuff and a house. Looks like these soybeans are ready to harvest. Looks like that corn's ready to harvest. So, do a I'll do a video on the soybean harvest. How about that? Probably a video on the corn harvest. I haven't harvested corn yet, but from what I've seen, it looks like. Everything's really cool with the animations. Here, here we're going down the back road here to the, the main farm. This is the this little red farm down here is the farm that you start out at. It's where all your vehicles will be reset. Well, actually, the vehicles will be reset to the shed, I think. Since you can't, there isn't purchasable objects. And you can see the white farm over there, off in the distance. You got the flag, American flag. It's really cool. I don't know, I like the feel of the map. I mean, over here is really kind of like really homey feeling to it. Got a nice little floodlight up there. Uh, so these soybeans are ready to harvest, these soybeans are ready to harvest, a lot of soybeans. Uh, got some pine trees going here. Lots of soybeans to harvest, guys, lots of soybeans. So here's a more grain complex. So here's another soybean field. So we got soybean, soybean, soybeans, lots of soybeans. And corn. Just one final look at this beast. Oh yeah, and then here's another big soybean field. Uh, in rows. How do you like that?
quite the view. Alright, peace.